Hi friends, welcome back. This is Solomon Jagwe. Uh, thank you so much for joining me again for another quick insight and uh, mini tutorial. So today we're going to be talking about uh, the Octane Render Engine, uh, the Octane Renderer 4 Blender. So it, there's a free version and then there's uh, one that you can use as a subscription. And so I wanted to talk about uh, this previous video that I shared that talks about the Octane, converting all the Octane materials in a scene to Octane Render shaders, from Blender shaders to Octane Render shaders. So again, friends, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And to all my subscribers, steady subscribers, thank you so much for your support. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. I'm up to six. Thank you so much, guys. All right. So today, let's go back here. Um, what I forgot to mention in this video is that uh, this is uh, actually an add-on that come that does it doesn't come with the Octane Render engine by itself. You actually have to download it from somewhere and then add it to uh, to your Blender folder, the scripts folder. And I'm going to walk you through how to find it and how to add it, and then we'll do a test of another environment uh, using the DAS to Blender Bridge. Okay, let's get started. So first, you need to go to the Otoy website and go to forums. Okay, and that's going to lead you to this link right here. So let me see if I can take you back. Go to board index, go to plugin, discussion and support, then look for blender. Okay, and then under releases, there's a, the most recent release is uh, this uh, 2020.2. That is still in beta testing, so I don't recommend using it in production. But there's a steady, there's a, a, a new, uh, a stable version. So that's the one that you need. And it will, sh if you scroll all the way down, you're gonna see the PC version. So that's the one that I'm using today. So Blender Octane Edition 2020, 22.2, .2 and Octane Sub Edition 22.2. So this is for Blender 2.9.1. Okay, so download that. Make sure you have this installed before you start uh, this tutorial. Okay, now the add-on itself, the Octane Helper, and I'll put a link in the description so you can have a see where to download it. And once you click on the newest one, which was released December 23rd, 2020, by the time you watch this video, there might already be a new one. So keep a link, uh, bookmark this link so that you can actually see uh, the latest because I, I know he the developer mentioned that a new one was coming out uh, and he said see you in January 2021 so but this the one that I'm using is this version right here so go ahead and uh, download this version and simply so he says that go to releases which is the previous page click on Octane helper so download that and then go to your show in folder over here unzip this i'm using winra so right click and unzip extract here okay and then double click on this folder in here that's the plugin this is a full plugin so you need to copy this folder right click copy and we can minimize that and then we need to go to your app data folder so the way you you go to it is you go to uh, local and then in the local folder in your C drive, look for users. And then the users folder, there should be the name of your machine, right? Uh, mine is uh, Studio J over here. And then type in APPDATA app data, right? And that's going to lead you here. So, it, and then double click on roaming. And under roaming, look for Blender Foundation. Go to Blender, double click on Blender, and then depending on uh, the Blender version that you have, double you have to go into that particular folder. So right now we're working with 2.91, double click on that, and then double click on Scripts, and then Add-ons, okay? Then here is where you need to right click and paste. And I'm assuming you've already copied the folder that we downloaded, so paste it, and it should be in here. 
okay just verify so now the octane helper is there we need to go and launch the octane render that we downloaded make sure it's installed both of these need to work together so for whichever edition that you're working with these two have to match if they don't match it's not going to work okay so i've already installed my octane blender which is right here so i double click on that okay and it's 2.91 all right for so we need to go to the edit and the preferences and under add-ons just type in octane helper or just simply helper and then make sure it's checked so it's the 3d view octane so if it's unchecked make sure it's checked and that means that now it's gonna work okay so if you've installed your octane uh, for blender properly it should show up under here under the render engine options it should show up as octane so if it's not showing up that means you've not installed it properly so make sure you go through the steps to install it okay and before you can run octane make sure the server is also running so what you need after this is installed if it's installed properly you need to go to your programs and you're going to look for octane look for all or p q r s t octane server enterprise and then double click uh, not double, just click on it to start it and it's going to show up here you could click on it and make sure you click activate so now it's ready to run it octane won't run without this running in the background okay let's close that out now if i switch to octane it's going to be running okay and now if i click on this box right here just as a test there's the <laughs> the add-on and this is the what we're looking for is being able to convert blender materials to octane for the entire scene not just for one object for the entire scene so that's why i love using this and so now that we know that it's working i'm going to be using the the does to blender bridge to bring in a, an environment so i'm going to bring up this environment where i'm using the back streets and it's an environment by uh, the stonemason which he is, has an he makes awesome environments like if you went and looked at some of his environments they are be really really beautiful well textured so we're just going to try start with this one test it with this so make sure it's selected in the viewport here and go to scripts our bridges blender dash to blender send it it's it takes a very short time to send and you can minimize that so in here we can bring this up so make sure this is also installed by the way guys without without this it's not this tutorial is not gonna it's gonna be meaningless so make sure you the does to blender bridges installed uh, to work so it can work so go ahead and we it we didn't send a character we said it was an environment and uh, a prop so that's the option that you need import new environment I'll click on that one click ok and a friend of uh, one of you guys mentioned that that was actually a percentage so now i know for sure that it's a, a percentage when i see that little icon all right i'm gonna turn off the cube for now so this is our environment okay and we don't see any textures yet, but if we switch to viewport shading, you can see the beautiful uh, textures. It's really well textured and ready to go. So I'm using uh, cycles to display this. And if I switch to Eevee, you can also get a sense of what it looks like in Eevee, like with a real time shading. And you can see the tex textures all coming in and you can zoom in all the way down to the ground and check it out. Okay, so these cones, the light cones, like volumetric it will be like trying to simulate volumetric lighting so we can swap the, those out with spotlights all right now we're going to switch back to just a display mode and we're going to switch to octane 
okay all right now i need to select everything in the viewport all these things go to select or and right click and there you get the option uh, with octane materials now we can go to octane materials over here and we want to convert all the textures in this environment to octane materials so from blender materials to octane materials click on that and watch the progress uh, here at the bottom and also up at the top and i think it's done let's zoom in now if we switch to display mode uh, since we have octane enabled there we go so with all the materials that have been converted and we are using octane and this is in real time guys <laughs> So that's the beauty of uh, if you have a, a like a, a dual setup for like GPU or multiple GPUs, you would need to, the subscription version of this plugin to be able to take advantage of all your GPUs. Uh, I have two GPUs, that's why you can see the responsiveness is really good. But even one GPU will do. I mean, it won't be as responsive as if you have two of them. But so I hope this was helpful, guys. Uh, I wanted to walk you through being able to see that option of uh, the, it's called the Octane Helper that enables you to convert all the materials at the same time for an environment that you've imported from DAS uh, Studio into using the DAS the bridge, the DAS to uh, Blender bridge, and then bring it into Octane Render. And this is 2.91. So before the tutorial, I think I did before, there was a, I was using the 2.83 version, but it's now it works with that 2.910. So guys, I hope this was helpful and uh, take advantage of it. I hope to hear what, how you guys are using it. If you're using it and you're having finding success with it, please share a comment. <laughs> and I'll also put uh, the links to the, uh, the add-on in the description of this video so thank you so much guys and i hope this was helpful please stay safe uh, dare to dream big and again as always i'm i do these uh insights and tutorials to help us as uh indie filmmakers and storytellers so we can bring our stories to life and since blender is free i think it's an awesome way to utilize to tell your stories to start from there and if you don't like uh, Blender, you can always switch to, uh, if you want to faster renders, of course, you can go to the Unreal Engine, but you can see that uh, you get a really good and fast render using Octane with a good GPU, that is. Okay, so see you next time. And again, thank you so much to all my Patreons. I appreciate your support and uh, i'll continue to share more tutorials this makes it it's excite me because i know you guys care <laughs> for the time that i put in to share the tutorials that have to do with uh, different aspects of uh, 3d animation rendering and storytelling and creating short film short short animated films and so see you next time with another quick insight and tutorials thank you so much guys this is octane running it so this is the octane render engine running in blender semi real time i'm hoping i'm looking forward to when it's real time actually but as you can see the textures were converted nicely and the reason why you see it looking washed out is because under the imager i've not uh, adjusted the sort of and let's go to color management down here for example and you can adjust the exposure over here a little bit and adjust the gamma so there are things that you can do to make the scene look better and also the camera settings play a big part in making sure they look really good so all right guys uh, i'll wrap that up and uh, please stay safe stay blessed and dare to dream big bye for now